Hello everybody! Fire up your favorite code editor and start with the bare bones of an example.html file. We're going to demonstrate how to use the JavaScript Clipboard API in various ways that developers might use it in their projects. Woohoo! And the first thing I'll do is show you where I studied the API so that you can get a more complete overview in your spare time. Here is the documentation and this is the URL. Okay, the first thing I'll show you how to do is write to the user's clipboard. Save that. And run it in your favorite browser. Now it'll ask for permission, but in the application that I'll show you how to write in just a moment, it won't ask for permission. Press allow. And now the code should be howdy partner surrounded with bold tags should be in my clipboard and let's see if it is yep I can change that to pilgrim just so you can see how it changes what's in my clipboard and then we go run the page again allow and let's see if we have howdy pilgrim okay so it's writing to my clipboard successfully let's explain the code real quick the navigator object has a child object called clipboard. And the clipboard has a write text method. And we're using that to write string data into the user's clipboard. And at the API documentation, there's also another easy example that shows you how to you how to read the user's clipboard. So you can read the data that they have in their clipboard, but that would have a little bit of security concern because if somebody has a password or other sensitive information copied to their clipboard they not, may not want it read by any random web page they arrive at all right so let's get rid of this code here let's add a little bit of html and what we have here is a code element that you'll usually see for instance on my website i offer a lot of code samples to people and i put it into a code element now what we're going to attempt to do here is get the data from the code element, which would be some rich text. And it just says, hello ladies, in a div tag. Then I have a button under that with an ID of copy button one. And on its click event, we're going to run a function called copy to clipboard. Now before we take a look at that in the browser, I'm going to add a little bit of styling to my code element okay and that's what that renders so you're showing people code on a page now we want to be able to press copy to clipboard and have this code be saved into their clipboard or copied to their clipboard so they don't have to use their mouse to highlight it all and press control C they can just click the button okay now I'm gonna pop in place the function that I wrote to accomplish this task then we'll see it working and then I'll explain the code line by line for you and here's my function let's go back to our browser refresh and copy to clipboard click that and I programmed it to put a little check mark into that buttons inner HTML so that it shows the user that the things have been the strings have been copied to the clipboard so here is a new notepad window and let's see what if I paste control V so you can see I have the div code and the string hello ladies inside of it so it successfully copied the rich text from within that element now I'll explain this code line by line so we have a function called copy to clipboard that is made to execute when we click this copy button one so what I did was I just made a constant for my data and that's equal to the inner HTML content of code box one then we have another constant called copy button one and that represents the object of this button down here then I created another constant called preserver which I'm creating the element of text area which I'm not going to add to the document or anything I'm just using it to preserve the rich text because if I didn't do this there in their clipboard 
you would see the actual and LT semicolon and GT semicolon and you don't want that to happen you want to actually give them brackets that these entities represent so that's why I'm using this preserver object now next line I take preserver and add to its inner HTML my data and that's what is going to give them the brackets instead of the entity or the entity code then in the next line we say navigator.clipboard.writeText preserver.value the value of that text area then to make the copy button have a little check mark dynamically placed into it I'm just concatenating this entity the check mark into its inner HTML so after it says copy to clipboard there'll be a space and then a check entity will be appended or concatenated now you'll notice if you study the API documentation that I showed you really well if you study that well they have a different approach to doing this but I wanted to use this approach because it's just a whole lot easier it's less code but there may come a time or a situation where you want to use the example they show you in the documentation which requires just a little more code okay I've just got one more example to show you guys and then we'll be done now in this example it's very similar the only thing I changed was instead of a code element we have a text area here because some of you might want to see how to copy the text area data or a text input into their clipboard you might want to copy the data from a text area or text input into the user's clipboard and this example shows you how to do that and you can see the string data will be howdy doody exclamation now what happens here is we have a constant from my data and we say document get element by ID text one dot value and then we simply write text like we did before and then we put the check mark in the copy button and then let's make sure that works refresh howdy doody copy to clipboard got our little check mark and then we're going to let's just go back to our file or you can open notepad or whatever you want and paste there we go howdy doody and that is the value of this text area all right now I've just got one more thing to show you let's go to this URL here at the Mozilla Docs and here's the clipboard API documentation at the Mozilla website and uh, you can see down at the bottom it shows you compatibility for the environment whatever browser so you might want to you can see here in Firefox for Android that the read method doesn't work the write method works in Firefox but not in Firefox for Android so study this and if you want to offer some workarounds for whatever is incompatible then you can know to do that using this reference here and a workaround could come in various forms and it says this API is designed you might be thinking well I can just use exec command but this API is designed to supersede accessing the clipboard using exec command so just use exec command if you want to give a workaround for Firefox there are multiple ways to do it but exec command will be superseded by this clipboard API Okay, friends, I hope you've enjoyed this exercise, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.